In this episode of Strength Coach Tutorials, I'm going to teach you how to use the VLOOKUP function for Google Sheets by creating this cool looking athlete name card. What the VLOOKUP function allows us to do is automatically change the criteria based on a lookup value. This is going to be really powerful for any project you might have where you have to change your values based on a lookup. So let's get after it. Okay, so to get started, we have a blank athlete card here, just like the one that I showed you in the intro video. And what we're going to do is add a spot where we can select our athlete name and then pull out their sport position, date of birth, and their photo based on the athlete that we select and using the VLOOKUP function. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is just add the drop down to select our athlete because with the VLOOKUP function, you need to have a lookup that you're actually going off of. So in this case, it's going to be our athlete name, but if you were working with other types of data, it could be any defining feature that you want. So in order to do this, I'm going to select where the athlete name um, is going to go, and I'm going to use a data validation. So I'll go to data, data validation, and it's gonna give me the option to choose a list from range. And what I'll do is select the data range, and I have another um, tab here where I have my athlete names and I'm just going to select this whole um, column and then what I'll do is I'll start it at A2 so this is going from A2 all the way to A and that's what the double dots is going to signify and when I hit OK and save go back to my sheet here I'm going to be able to select any of those athlete names now so this is going to set the basis for our VLOOKUP function because it's going to give us our value that we will actually look up. So to do this, what we're going to do is in this first box here, we're going to type equals VLOOKUP and then open this up. And if you notice, when we open up a formula in Google Sheets, it's going to give us a little box here that tells us exactly what we want to put into this formula. So the first thing that we're looking for is our search key. In other words, this is going to be the lookup value that we're actually looking for. So in this case, I'm going to choose my range or my cell of F2 um, as the lookup key because that's where we've stored our athlete name. And then what we'll add is a comma. And now it's going to ask me where I want to actually look for it. So in this case, we're going to go back to our athlete values and I'm going to select our data. Now what we could do is we could select all of the data and just give ourselves some room to grow this list. But for the purposes of this project, what I'm gonna do is just select the athlete data that we have. And what you can see is we have the athlete name, date of birth, sport, position, image, image URL, and then image. And now the next thing that it's going to ask me is the index. And in this case, what this refers to is the column that I would actually like to index for that value. So what I'm going to look for is, in this case, we want to index the sport. And that is stored in the third column. So if I go athlete name, date of birth, sport, so I'm going to use a three there. And then the last thing is a comma. And it's going to ask us whether our data is sorted, and I'm going to type in false, because we do not have any sort to our data. And when I hit enter, it's going to index the sport for that athlete. So to give you an idea of what VLOOKUP is actually doing, we'll go back to our um, data here. And what we've asked VLOOKUP to do is vertically, it's going to look down this list and look for a name. And in this case, it's found it in the first kind of row. And then what I want it to do is in that first row, it's going to count over three columns, one, two, three, and return that value. So essentially, if you can think of it, it's looking this way and then coming down this way to return that row. If we were to choose um, Vicky, we'd go across here and then come down this way to choose that row here, okay? So now we're gonna use the same type of idea and fill out the rest of our columns or fill out the rest of our cells. So we'll take the same formula again and we'll type up equals VLOOKUP open that up and we want to look for F2 because that's our name and comma, our range. We're going to select our range and then comma, what column do we want to return? In this case, it's going to be number four and then comma, 
we're going to type in false because our data is not um, sorted. And the cool thing about Google Sheets, if you'll notice here, it's actually giving us what the answer is going to be to our formula in this blue box here, or this blue text here. Enter, and we'll do this one more time for our date of birth, equals V lookup, open that up. Search key is the same, data range is the same. We're going to, in this case, return the second column, and then comma false. Open that up, and in this case, it's giving us our date right there. And then the cool thing about working in Google Sheets now is we can do the same thing with an image. So in the image box, I'm going to type equals VLOOKUP, open that up. The search key, we're going to search for the name. The data range is going to be the exact same. And now in this case, the column that we want is one, two, three, four, five, six across. And I'm going to type in false. And when I close that off, you can see that it's going to give me my athlete image. So now when I switch the athlete, it knows to look across and find the different values. So this was just a quick demonstration on how you might want to use the VLOOKUP formula in your sheets and how powerful it can become as long as you set up your data correctly. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you.